API X5's Wilson Walker joins us now on the set. Wilson, uh, this new center was years in the making. It's still not complete. What have you learned about what happened? Okay, I've been trying to track down people who know this building better than I do, and I think it's important. It's a fantastic headline, but let's start with what we don't know right now. What we don't know much about the severity of the crack itself. We do not know what caused it, and we certainly do not know that it is in any way connected to other notable engineering issues in that area. You probably know what I'm talking about. So those are the things we just don't know yet. Now, what do we know? Well, this was found by accident. They literally stumbled across it while working on some ceiling tiles, so it was not found during any kind of inspection. This thing just sort of bubbled up. That's one cause for concern. This was a U.S. steel component. It was not China steel, in case you were curious. And the fissure is in, as I mentioned, a steel component itself, mm. not a weld. Now, welds can often fail. Uh, people will tell you there's no such thing as a perfect weld, and they can be easily repaired when a weld fails. So a piece of steel itself failing is more complicated and thus more worrisome. So what happens now? Well, obviously, it, it's a bit like the Millennium situation. You have this incredibly complicated engineering question and, and not a lot in the, uh, in the way of answers. You have to go entirely through that building and figure out whether or not the failure in that steel is unique to that piece of steel. There are other, I'm right. told there are other pieces of steel comparable to or exactly like this one. It is not a unique component in this building. So you've got to figure out if the other ones are performing or failing the same way. That will obviously take some time. That will take or, a while. Yeah. Or I'm curious if, there, if the question also, is it actually a steel problem or is this a whole building problem? You know, and, and again, I, 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 we should go back to all the things we do not know. I and mean, we've right. known about this for a couple hours. But, you know, what, what do we know? It's, it's a piece that has failed. So it doesn't appear to be a construction flaw. It does mm -hmm. appear to be a failed component. Is that something that is going to surface in other comparable parts? of the building, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's just something they don't know. And again, it wasn't found during an inspection. It popped mm -hmm. up suddenly. And so now you have to mobilize an inspection which theoretically would have caught this earlier on. Right. you got to wonder what other issues may be going on. It's, so, so again, it, it's just, you know, how many more questions do they need to answer? Well, who knows? I think, I think what we'll, we'll, we'll be seeing is what we're looking at on, on TV right now, which is, you know, people crawling through the nooks and crannies of this thing, and you're right, they will have to go from A to Z in terms of the structure of this thing and examine everything that's already been covered up and put into uh, service. I mean, remember, this thing's been open several weeks now, yeah, and, again, and they'll have to check the integrity of the steel. And not to, to, to draw parallels with Millennium, and we get this, this you know, no reason to believe yet that this has anything to do, but Millennium happened and everyone immediately wanted to know, mm -hmm. you know, what's happening with this building, what's going on? And here we are quite a bit removed from the discovery of Millennium and there's still no solid answer as to what exactly, how that building is performing. And, and they were questioning the construction of the Trans Bay as being well, related to that. you know, that. Ken and I were standing in the basement of that <laughs> building when they were talking about how much water they were pumping out of that building. Well, that's a good <laughs> point. This thing goes down 100 feet uh, yeah. below street level mm -hmm. and they constantly were pumping water out and who knows if, if they that water intrusion is having an impact now. Who you know, knows if that's it, what's causing? It, of course, if you ask the, the millennium folks. is 200 feet away yeah. mm -hmm. from where this is going on. What is going on on Fremont Street? I asked Phil Matier. Everybody's got questions. Wilson, thank you for that, and uh, yeah. thanks for the insight.